What is up everybody, welcome back to the series where I show you how to birdie every single hole in the game. Today we got resort B holes four to six. Jumping right into hole number four here. This hole can be difficult, but once you understand the power, it does get quite easy. Now, when there's no wind on the course, full sending the five iron with backspin will land you in the middle of the green, slightly on the near side. So you can use that knowledge to your advantage. If there is a hole at the back of the green, you can go slightly under full power, no backspin, and that'll get you to the end of the green. But one thing I will mention, do not underpower your shots on this hole. If you do, you will land in the water, and that adds one stroke to your score. If you're ever unsure of what power to go because there's crazy wind, always go more power than less power, because even if you miss the green, and then you have to chip back onto the green and putt for a par, that's a lot better than landing in the water and instantly adding one stroke to your score. But in this instance, the wind's not too bad. I'm gonna full send the five iron and watch us backspin close to the hole. Nice shot. Nice song. And that is a pretty decent approach for a par three. Now this hole may take some practice before you can consistently birdie it. But once you master the five iron, it does get a lot easier. And that's how you birdie Resort B hole four. Hole five is the second par five of the series, and these par fives are generally the easiest to birdie. For hole five, I always look to clear this tree here and land to the left of the tall tree. Now, if the wind doesn't allow that, you can aim this way. Just be careful not to shoot too hard because you could land in the bunker. If necessary, club down to a spoon to ensure you land on the fairway. But in this instance, I'm gonna adjust a little bit for the direction of the wind nice and land on the fairway to the left of the tall tree. Now, stroke number two is relatively straightforward. Do your best to land on the fairway because it gives you the easiest chip onto the green. But even if you land in the rough or even the bunker, it's not the end of the world because you're close enough to chip onto the green. Nice shot. Now, because of the wind, I ended up on the fringe, but I'm gonna use the wedge. Most of the time, I land on the fairway before the green. Most of the time, you'll land there as well. And from my experience in this hole, when you're chipping onto the green with the wedge, you need a little bit more power than you think. And number two, take into account the hills on this green. If you notice, there's a pretty big mound to the left of the hole. If your ball lands here, it will shoot you to the right. So always consider the green as well as the wind when chipping onto the green. Now, in this case, I'm gonna go about one and three quarters dots. Look to get a nice bounce up to the hole. The wedge doesn't usually roll very much, so do keep that in mind. You have to be a little more precise when chipping with the wedge. If you noticed, I even got slightly over one and three quarters dot. And that wasn't too much, which goes to show you do really need more than you think when chipping on hole number five. And that's how you birdie hole number five. Let's move on to one of the most annoying holes in the game, hole six. Now for hole six, I am gonna show you two different ways to birdie this hole because it does change depending on the placement of the hole on the green. Now in this case, with the hole on the left, all I wanna do on stroke one is make sure I have a clear stroke two that's not blocked by this tree here. Nice shot. And for this shot, I should not clip the tree and I should get a nice roll onto the green. Keep in mind when you're on stroke two for this hole, you are uphill from the green and the green is slanted downhill. So don't go too much or else your ball will roll past the green onto the rough, possibly even into the bunker. In this case, I'll go a little bit under full power. And 
and as you can see, we get a pretty nice roll onto the green. Didn't overshoot. We're 16 feet away. And with 16 feet, it's a fairly easy birdie putt. But wherever you land from stroke number one, just make sure you're conscious of how much power you have for stroke number two. Now that's one way to birdie hole number six. Here's the second way. Now the second way to birdie hole number six comes when the pin placement is on the right side of the green. If you notice those trees there, there is a break and we do have a clear shot onto the green. So shoot the ball down the right side of the fairway. I'm gonna club down on a spoon and use just under full power. Nice shot. Now the power is not super important here, as long as you have a clear shot onto the green. If you take a look at my aim stick, we are making it through both sets of trees, leaving us with a pretty good chip onto the green. Keep in mind when chipping, you are uphill, and there is a downward slope on the green, so you have to be pretty precise when chipping here, but there are two options for you. You can try to land onto the green with backspin, and that'll slow down the forward roll of your ball, or you can chip with no backspin, look to land on the rough just before the green, and then roll up to the hole. I am always a fan of rolling as opposed to backspinning, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go just under full power, Now that rough took out a lot of the momentum for our ball. Nice In terms of power, we roll quite close to the hole. Now, as you saw, the wind did push me a little bit there, but we made it through the trees no problem and are on the green close to the hole. And that's how you birdie hole number six on resort B. Hopefully you can utilize these tricks in your next online match and stay tuned for the next part of the series where we do Resort C, hold 7 to 9.